From the biggest shark ever caught to a mysterious beast accidentally hooked, here are 10 of the biggest catches that ever happened. Mako Shark One of the biggest sharks ever caught was ripped out of the ocean just recently in 2020 by a fisherman off the coast of Wales. This enormous Mako Shark is believed to be around 11 feet long, 3.5 meters. The Mako is one of the fastest sharks in the ocean, and this one was caught only 35 miles 55 kilometers from the coast. The man who caught it, named Rob Rennie, actually runs his own private charter boat. Rob spent two hours trying to get the creature into the vessel, but claimed it was actually too big, too powerful, and too heavy to get on board. There is video footage of him hooking the shark and dragging it alongside the boat, but Rob was forced to release the shark from the line and let it swim away. After 15 years of fishing, Rob told local news sources that the Mako shark was the biggest catch of his career. As a side note, the current record for the largest Mako shark ever caught using a fishing rod in UK waters is 500 pounds, 230 kilograms. But this dates back to 1971. Despite not being able to claim an official record because he never got the shark into the boat, Rob believes his shark could have weighed as much as 1,000 pounds. It was easily the size of a great white. Black Marlin an enormous black marlin was caught in 2018 that weighed 1,430 pounds. That is one big fish. As reported by ABC News, the fish was captured off the coast of Queensland, Australia, and it took a full two hours to catch. A little coincidental, the man who caught this giant black marlin is also named Rob, like the man who almost caught the mako shark. However, there was a bit of an uproar after the fishermen brought this giant beast back on their boat. Because the giant marlin is so impressively large, people were calling the fishermen cruel for killing such a majestic animal bringing back the debate about whether or not it's appropriate to be killing fish for fun. However, Rob and his team of sports fishermen claim that the enormous marlin actually died during the struggle and that is why they brought it back to shore. They typically catch really large fish, tag them, then release them. But this one was a total accident and nothing cruel happened. The anglers estimated the fish to be around 15 years old. It's the largest marlin to be caught in Australian waters in over 30 years. Bluefin Tuna a lot of us eat our tuna from a can, and when we think of tuna, we usually think of a tiny little fish, but you might be surprised to know that bluefin tuna are actually huge. Three teenage fishermen recently pulled in an enormous 700-pound bluefin tuna after a seven-hour struggle. The tuna was so powerful that it managed to drag the teenagers 10 miles before they could reel it in. According to CNN, they were about 40 miles off the coast of Portland when they finally did get the fish on board their boat, and they were only 17 years old. Apparently, they didn't even see the fish until six hours after the fight started. The tuna stayed below 300 feet 90 meters of water and did not want to go to the surface. They were very lucky that they managed to keep their energy and keep the fish on the line. It was so big that they could not get it in the boat, and other people had to come in their own boats to help the boys get the tuna back to shore. It was quite a good payday for the boys as well, as they sold the giant fish to a local fish processing company for a pretty reasonable $2,000. Have you ever gone fishing? Did you catch anything good? Did you let it go or did you eat your catch? How big was it? Tell me about it in the comments below and then remember to subscribe if you haven't already. There are more great videos coming out all the time, but you have to subscribe or you might miss them. Whale Shark in China, fishermen accidentally caught a giant whale shark that weighed over two tons. The fishermen never went looking for the whale shark, but one bit through their net, which was packed full of fish and ended up dying while trying to escape. So of course, they brought the whale shark up onto their boat. The shark measured 15 feet, 4.5 meters long, and was ridiculously huge. The fishermen apparently wanted to sell the giant shark, but it's actually illegal to catch or sell because it's an endangered species. Still, the carcass of a massive whale shark can be sold for somewhere around $30,000 according to National Geographic. This is in part because the population of whale sharks is extremely thin, with only a few thousand of them left. This makes them rare and very valuable if you can find the right buyer. The whale shark is indeed the biggest fish and the biggest shark in the world, and this is a rare catch that the fishermen probably won't be lucky enough to make again. What are they supposed to do with their catch? It's illegal to sell it because it's an endangered species, but letting it go to waste seems like a shame. Do they just let it rot? Just toss it back into the ocean to become food for the tiny marine organisms that feed off carcasses? The whole situation is pretty bizarre if you ask me. Goonch Catfish 
Anyone familiar with Jeremy Wade in his show River Monsters knows that this creature means business. Mr. Wade has caught some of the largest and strangest monsters that prowl the rivers of this world, and the biggest of them all is the Goonch Catfish, which lives in the rivers of northern India and Nepal. Most Goonch Catfish are actually caught by accident, and most are lost because they are so huge. The biggest one ever caught was 6.6 .6 feet two meters long and weighed 230 pounds. It's not the biggest fish in the world, but it's definitely one of the biggest in any river. Jeremy ended up hooking one of these monster creatures in Nepal after investigating reports that men were being dragged into the water by a huge and ferocious fish. He had it on the line and fought with the animal, but the goonch eventually managed to break the line and escape. Even though Jeremy did not catch the giant fish he was hoping for, he has caught several small goonch catfish in the past when fishing in India, but none of them were over 161 pounds. It sounds like this one is going to go down in memory as the big one that got away. Mekong Giant Catfish a fish believed to be the largest freshwater fish ever recorded was recently caught by a Thai fisherman. This happened back in 2005 when the fisherman reeled in a 646 pound catfish. It was a Mekong catfish and it's considered to be one of the most threatened catfish species in the world because of habitat degradation. According to National Geographic, only around 11 fish were caught between 2001 and 2002. Then in 2003, fishermen only captured six giant catfish in Cambodia, all of which were released as part of a conservation conservation project, but the catch in 2005 is definitely the biggest. The Mekong giant catfish was almost 9 feet long, 2.8 meters, and was the heaviest fish ever recorded since records began in Thailand back in 1981. Because the Mekong giant catfish is so huge and so rare, there is not much known about the ecology of the species. While at first the villagers had hoped to sell the fish to environmental groups, it died before it could be sold off, and so the catfish ended up being sold in pieces to the local villagers and and everyone had a good feast. Greenland Shark Believe it or not, after chasing giant catfish, Jeremy Wade actually left the rivers behind to hunt for the extremely elusive Greenland Shark. And yes, he caught one. Jeremy had to travel to Norway to search for this ancient and mysterious sea monster. It took some time, but after reeling in about 50 miles 75 kilometers of fishing line to check his baits, Jeremy hooked on to a shark. It was a huge struggle, but he did eventually reel in a 400 pound Greenland shark. These beasts usually live in extremely cold water about 2,000 feet below the surface. And being the guy that he is, Jeremy Wade actually put on a dry suit and got into the water with the shark. Later, Jeremy traveled to Greenland to catch an even larger Greenland shark. He ended up hooking one that weighed around 700 pounds and was estimated to be 200 years old. But unlike the first Greenland shark he saw off the coast of Norway, this one was mean. It had a seriously bad temper and acted more like a great white shark and so Jeremy decided not to go swimming with it. In any case, this is one of the only records of a huge Greenland shark being captured. In case you were wondering, 200 years is not even that old for one of these sharks. They can live up to 500 years in the wild. Not only are they some of the biggest cats in the ocean, but they're some of the oldest. Not many animals can live longer than 500 years. Blue Marlin Another giant marlin was caught southwest of Portugal, but this was a blue marlin, and it happened on the last day of an angling adventure for a group of friends. The man who caught this enormous fish is a renowned angler from Georgia, and he was probably about halfway through catching it when he realized he had a marlin at the end of his line that weighed at least 800 pounds. Even before reeling it onto the boat, this guy knew he was dealing with a potential world record. It was a miracle that he managed to catch the thing using only light tackle. It was a 70 minute fight, but he did finally get the enormous Marlin aboard. Once he did, it tipped the scales at an astounding 807 pounds. The International Game Fish Association has the current record at being 714 pounds, which was caught in 1990 on the Ivory Coast. Now it's just a waiting game as this dedicated fisherman waits to gain a world record. Swordfish just recently, a couple from Florida caught one of the biggest swordfish ever. According to the Tampa Bay Times, it took the couple eight full hours to reel in the enormous swordfish. The monstrous beast actually dragged their boat a full 20 miles 31 kilometers before they finally won the fight. At the end of the day, the swordfish weighed 757 pounds 350 kilograms, and this broke the previous Florida record which had been set in 1978. It didn't only beat the record, it stomped the record. The previous largest swordfish was only 612 pounds, 278 kilograms. That means they beat the last record by over 100 pounds, 45 kilograms. 
However, the world record for the largest swordfish ever caught in history of the world happened in China back in 1953, and the swordfish weighed 1,182 pounds, 536 kilograms. This is according to the International Game Fish Association. Tiger Shark the last story on the list today also comes from Florida. According to Fox News, a single fisherman famous for wrangling sharks caught a giant tiger shark that he is claiming to be his biggest shark ever. The tiger shark that he caught was 13 feet long, 4 meters, and roughly 7 feet, 2.2 meters in girth. He hooked the shark in his boat and then reeled the thing in from the sand. Imagine standing on the beach and reeling in one of the biggest tiger sharks you ever have seen. The tiger shark is actually the second deadliest shark in the world, but the fisherman said he was never worried throughout the whole affair, even when the shark was looking at him while he struggled to get it unhooked and safely tagged. And in case you were wondering, no. The shark was not captured and eaten, it was tagged and released. This guy is a pro at catching sharks. He usually hooks them, tags them, takes a blood sample for research, and then lets them go. He actually works with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's Apex Predator Tagging Program to promote the safe conservation of sharks. It's a heartwarming ending to a story that could have ended far more violently. What do you think about all these giant catches? Let me know in the comments. As always, thank you for watching and see you again soon. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe for all the latest and greatest content.